Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you with another free The Peace Friday episode. And this is going to be a pretty unique one for the channel. This is a, well, it's a red line. Hot wheel, sort of. Um, hmm. I don't really know all the history of this piece, but I'll try to give you as much information as I possibly can. As you can see, it does say Hot Wheels right here. Uh, made for Mattel in Hong Kong. So it's a Hot Wheel. As you can see, it's a Volkswagen Bug. It's in a baggie. The baggie is split open already, but not open enough to get the vehicle out. Um, you know, and I'm not sure if someone had previously opened it. It looks like the original staples are in this. This was just in staples in a bag. Um, I, yeah, Wisconsin Toy and Novelty Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So that's where these came from. So they're Mattel castings, and they were released from under this uh, Wisconsin Toy and Novelty Company and sold uh, that way. I don't know how rare they are compared to uh, regular red lines. Oh, there's a few differences here, and we're going to get into that in a second. So the the custom Volkswagen Beetle is one of the Sweet 16, one of the original uh, Redline cars. I have a couple of original Redlines of this Beetle. Um, none of them are in great shape. Uh, here's one right here in red. Uh, someone had retouched the wheels. The wheels look pretty bad. Um, it'd probably be a decent uh, restoration if you wanted to do if you wanted to do a restoration on it. You could. Uh, this is the USA made version of the casting. Uh, here's a quick look at the base. Got some toning on the base and stuff like that. Got some pitting and stuff and some chips and all sorts of stuff in the paint. So far from a mint car, but still kind of cool. Um, it's an original red line, and a mint one would probably be pretty pricey. Um, I don't remember what I got this one for. I got it from my buddy um, Richard, and I don't remember exactly what I got it for, but uh, it was it was pretty cheap. So it's got a metal motor. I believe that's metal. Yeah, that's metal. And then uh, metal base, uh, like a one-piece interior, a little sunroof that opens and shuts, but this mechanism is sort of broken. And oops, I just knocked the sunroof off into the vehicle. Which is okay, because this thing's just in rough shape. I just got it as an example of the casting. So that's a US one. Here's another US one. This one's in just as rough shape, if not even more uh, rough shape than the other. It's so got pitting and stuff like that. Sunroof is gone. Uh, this one has a white interior. These both have white interiors, which I think was a common interior color for this casting. And there's that one. And then I got this Hong Kong one. This one is also in terrible shape. Uh, but just as an example to see the difference in the casting. So the motor is plastic instead of metal. Um, the base looks quite a bit different. So these both had uh, suspension. This isn't really a red line education video. I'm really not that well versed in them, but I know some differences here. Uh, they both had the sunroof. There is a no sunroof version of this casting, I believe, as well. Uh, another major difference, though, is this one right here in the front. The headlights are actually part of the base tool. And this one, they are not. They're part of the body tool. So that's kind of a cool feature there. All right, and then there's a third version, which is the flying colors version, which this is going to be sort of that version. But I believe this thing has a plastic base. Um, so anyway, we are going to go ahead and open it up where it's already opened here. Just going to finish ripping the bag open. We're going to free this piece that's been rolling around in this plastic bag for a very long time. So here is the Wisconsin Toy Company version of this flying custom flying colors, flying custom, one of the two, uh, vehicle. <clears throat> so when did these come out? I don't really know, but I'm guessing it would have been 70s. Uh, but here it is. So this is the flying colors tooling, flying colors, flying colors tooling for uh, this VW Beetle. 
Uh, the only difference is it does have a plastic base. So the Flying Colors tooling did not have suspension, I believe. And this would have been a metal base, I also believe. Um, these were made in Hong Kong. And this was the enamel era of red lines. Like I said, I don't really know how rare this piece is. But I do think it's pretty darn cool. And it's the only mint example of like the original sort of red line casting. Now there's some a little bit differences here. Um, one of them is like you can definitely see like the casting lines in the tooling here. I mean it is a metal body, right? It kind of feels plastic almost, but it's metal. Um, it's got the uh, U.S. interior, and of course you also notice it's missing the sunroof, so it doesn't have a sunroof. It's kind of a cheaper version of a red line almost, is what you could consider it. Cheaply constructed, you know, plastic materials. The wheels, of course, aren't the traditional capped wheels you have in a red line. But, I don't know. I think that's pretty darn cool. And it's a great example of this car. I don't know how expensive these are either. I should have looked that up before um, filming this video uh, to see how expensive these are. But I don't think they're that bad. I've actually had this one sitting in my collection for quite a while. And just having gotten the opportunity to go ahead and open it up yet. wasn't sure if I ever wanted to. I suppose if I wanted to, I could keep this card, but really there's not much artwork there to take a look at. Yeah, but it's, it's pretty neat. But anyway, let me know what you think of these Hot Wheels in the comments down below. And of course, it is a Free the Peace Friday episode, and of course I'm going to tell you that these episodes are in playlists. And I encourage participation. So check out the playlist if you want to. You can see all the pieces that have been freed so far since starting the series of the video. And um, if you want to participate, go ahead and post something for Free the Peace Friday. Tag me in the post, whether it be on Instagram or Facebook and uh, or YouTube. And open up your cars, guys. So thank you guys very much for watching this one. So let's free the peace. Friday. Have a good day.